and Michelle, this is Mishmash. I already filmed this video, went upstairs, imported the footage, and realized the whole thing was out of focus. So I'm refilming this video, but lucky you, this will be a lot shorter probably, so let's get right into it. This video is going to be the wrap up for the Dewey 24 hour readathon that I did last weekend. And then I'll get into what I'm currently reading and stuff like that. So, the first book that I was almost finished before the readathon started was The Strangler Vine by M.J. Carter. Um, this is a historical fiction adventure book, and I had about, I think, 80 pages left when I started the readathon, so I finished that up pretty quickly. Um, I really liked this book. I think I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I'll talk more about it in my wrap up next week, but I really enjoyed this one. Highly recommend it. It's set in India in the 1800s. And uh, yeah, it was really good. So, finished that. And then, basically, for the rest of the readathon, I read The Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This is the first book in a trilogy of YA fantasy series. And uh, it follows this young girl and her best friend who are orphans. And then, as kids, just this is all in the intro. Um, as kids, they're taken to, they're recruited as um, members of this army to fight the Shadow Fold. And then, as a teenager, which is when this book is set, um, she discovers that she has more powers than she originally knew about. So, that's kind of where it starts off, and it's, it was pretty good. I really liked it. It took me pretty much the whole day to read. I probably could have read more in the wrap up or in the readathon, but. Um, I got pretty distracted and I had some other stuff to do, so I didn't get that much reading done, which is why I didn't film the wrap up. But um, just in case you were interested, because I did film that TBR, this is what I was reading, and I think I fell asleep before I actually finished this book, so I finished it up on Sunday, the last 30 pages or something. But yeah, highly, highly enjoyed that, and I have the other two in the trilogy, so I will be reading those shortly. So now, as to what I'm reading right now. Um, first, I'm reading Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. I mentioned this in my TBR for the readathon, and I didn't get to it, but I decided I should actually read this because I feel like it's one of those classics that I'm just not, never going to get around to if I don't read it right now. So, I'm about a quarter of the way through this. It's going pretty quickly. Um, this is not really my type of book, just because it's not like a, um, it's not like a flowing narrative, I guess. Um, I don't know if there's a specific term for that, but um, I don't like the style of how this is written, really, but um, it's, it's going okay and it's really easy to read and quick, so I'm sure this will be finished up quickly and maybe I'll enjoy it once it's done. <laughs> I've had a hold on this next book for like two months and it finally came in, so I'm very excited. It is Illuminae by Annie Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I'm sure you've heard of this, everyone's reading it on booktube. The funny thing is, when I first put it on hold, um, everyone was talking about it, everyone loved it. But then since, or recently, I feel like I've been hearing more negative reviews. I'm wondering if that's just because the hype got to them, or if it actually isn't as good as everyone thought it was. I'm really interested to read it. Um, it's set in the future, in like 2525 is the year, and it follows these two um, people that just broke, they break up in the morning, that afternoon their planet is invaded and they have to escape together. And it's all written through um, different multimedia emails and texts and pictures and things like that. So even though it is huge, um, I think it will go pretty quickly because it is written in that format. Um, and I didn't really realize, but it is the first book in a trilogy, so you will not be hearing the last of this book, so I figured I may as well check it, check it out. And then once I finish those two, the next book on my list uh, is this book that I just got from the library. It's called The Life We Bury by Alan Eskins. And um, I can't really remember where I heard about this, but I'm pretty sure I was looking up the New York Times by the book essays online inspired by the video that's been going around, the tag video. Um, so I was reading different celebrities' actual articles, and I 
think JK Rowling mentioned this one. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure. And the story about this one, it sounds really intriguing. Um, it's a college student who, um, for one of his projects, he has to write a biography of someone. So he goes to this nursing home and meets this man. And this older man, he fought in the Vietnam War, but then was convicted of a murder and rape and went to jail for 30 years. He was allowed to go to this nursing home to live out the last of his years, or I don't know how long, how old, is, how old he is exactly. But um, so this college student is writing this biography of him. As he like gets to know this man more, he really starts to doubt that he could have done these horrible things. So that sounds really cool. And I think it's going to be really good. Um, the author is a lawyer too, so that kind of helps. So that is what I'm reading right now. As for other things that I'm doing this weekend, my brother and sister-in-law and my little niece, who is about five, um, they are coming down for the weekend. So I'll be hanging out with them. We're celebrating my dad's birthday and all that stuff. Um, so that'll be really fun. And then I'm also working on a project which is a quilt, which I will show you a little clip of right now. And I've been working on this for a long time. I took a few months of a break because I don't know what it is about me, but when I'm doing projects, I tend to go in spurts and then I like have a huge long gap of not doing anything. The thing that was holding me back was the binding. So I just bought this new fabric and I'm going to be hopefully starting on that this weekend as well. So that is what I'm doing right now. And let me know if you've read any of those books. And I think that's about it. So I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.